Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the Gradient Combo plugin. It's part of the Plugin Volume 7 set of Andrews plugins for PC and for Photoshop, uh, PSP, etc. 32 bit only. Right, just going to quickly show you the basic functionality. It actually works, this plugin, from uh, the foreground and background color. So it combines, so basically you can set those, of course, to any color. Um, so it can be millions of different color combinations potentially that can be used. Uh, I've set them to red and green in this one, but it could be, I say anything. Right, the plugin has a number of options. I could quickly just go through these gradient types. They're just different gradients, which some of them fairly unique. Some of them don't particularly show anything in this state. Obviously, it depends on the, the other settings. So uh, they don't... Uh, all uh, generate an actual response so, so I'm just gonna quickly it also depends on the actual center of the gradient as well which you can modify you can modify the center of the gradient and you quickly click through and show some of the examples of the gradients available and I'm just gonna buy this gradient option down here so just different gradients that can be uh, generated very quick which of course you can apply to a an actual empty image or you can apply as a say an overlay or as a, a texture to um, any existing image or of course you could apply it to uh, a selection maybe uh, with uh, text so you can create interesting colorful effects so I'm just gonna quickly show you some more gradients and you can just run through it. this one so it's quite so it creates a quick relatively quick quick gradient effect which of course you can combine so you can now I can go and uh, go back into the uh, plugin which is found in the AP gradient combo and well you can continue maybe creating other gradients just go through there and you've got other settings like I say you can mix the gradients you can got additional noise you can add into the, the effect if you want sort of a bit of grain to add to make it more smoother sort of effect different uh, color spatial effects also you can add to the color you can different settings there the green you can reduce the green as well as applying additional gradients and this is uh, another option you can use this is a post processing so I'm just gonna gradient one and then that can be blended with the uh, other image so click OK at that point once you've done that, you can go, go to the Edit Fade and then you can use the good old uh, blending modes. So you can blend, maybe difference, overlay, soft part, etc. Go through them all. There's difference. So you can create thousands of different uh, gradient designs, which of course you can then use maybe for brushes, you can use patterns, obviously additional filter effects can be applied they can be used as this plugin can be used as a smart filter as well you can just obviously just fire it up as a convert for smart filter and the plugin will then be uh, accessible change you can change it at any point in the creative process you can of course move things around at that point then so I'm just going to go back into the plugin not only that you can I'm just going to reset it at this point you can actually use blend modes so you can actually use these are the uh, plugins internal blend modes and not the Photoshop ones. So you can just create additional interesting color effects. You can also use effects modes where the effect is used as a source for the actual plugin. So instead of actually generating a gradient, it generates a weird, wonderful blur or sepia color effect. It's probably pretty unique effects. So at that point, I'm just going to click OK, and that's quick tutorial showing you the effects that can be found in the gradient combo plugin that's in volume 7. There's also a pattern plugin as well that comes with the set.